Hello, welcome to another session on JMeter. Today we will be discussing how to use the if controller in JMeter. So for that, uh, we are going to take the new tools dot demo dot com site, and I have already recorded the site. Uh, I have already recorded the Mercury uh, Tours website, the new tools website. Uh, login and uh, log out. So let's have a look at the test plan. The test plan is given here. Uh, it has a CSV data config. The users.csv file has three entries. Let me show it to you. Sorry, four entries. First is for admin, second one is for employee one, employee two, employee three. And that's all. So I had I have registered all these users already, and admin is already uh, pre-built inside the site. So we don't need to create the admin user. So that's about the CSV file. Now this test plan is taking data from the CSV file. I have mentioned the file name over here, and the variable names are separated by commas. The variable names are user and pass. user uh, is for the username and pass is for password rest of the things are not changed then these are uh, the http cookie manager user defined variables and http header manager are coming from bad boy since i have recorded this script in bad boy then comes the loop controller i have added a loop controller over here and uh, I mean, this has come uh, in the recording, which has come from Bad Boy, and inside that is the home page for new tools dot uh, demo dot com. I have no, I have not changed anything on this uh, in this sampler. Then, then these two are also coming from the recorded script, and I have added additional if controller or over here, which filters the users. currently there are four users including admin and i am not going to use employee 002 in our testing so employee 002 has been filtered using the if controller the if controller syntax is double quotation marks dollar then the uh, variable which holds the username in our case it is u s e r all caps then uh, the closing brace and then inverted commas complete not double equal to in quotation marks emp002 quotation marks complete so this is how you uh, do a simple javascript for filtering the users and if the user is if the user is not employee 002 then these two steps will be run or else it will not be run then i have put a view results tree over here uh, this is from my earlier run let me clear it out and uh, let's see how things work out for us so we just have added a simple if controller for our testing now we are going to run it okay i have triggered the run so this time it is going to pick the values from the csv file and since we have three samplers and we have four sets of data it should repeat for 4 into 3 12 times but it will not repeat for 12 times since the login for the emp002 will not happen let's wait while this test is running uh, you can explore uh, the if controller by going to apache.jmeter.org for more information okay looks like the test has run so let's look into the results we will look into the response data so or rather the request so this is nothing but the home page the second one is also the home page 
third one is also home page fourth one yeah this is also probably yeah it's somewhere around uh, around the home page now this is interesting here you will see data passed here we are uh, passing the first set of data that is admin and mercury is the password so it has logged in using admin and mercury then the second set of data emp001 and the password is mercury then we have the third set of data coming in the third set of data will be here which is emp003 and now we will see the fourth set of data okay we had uh, along with admin we had 1 2 and 3 so it will run till three sets of data and the fourth one the emp002 will be filtered out as you can see there is no employee 002 here so it has been filtered out using the if controller here we have admin here we have emp001 here here we have emp003 directly so emp002 is not there which has been filtered by the if controller so this is how you use a simple if controller this can be uh, complicated more based on your test it can have several embedded ifs if else's and which you can practice on your own this i have just shown as a piece of demonstration so this is how you use it thank you